In this video, you'll see how to enable SAP admins to deploy applications supported by AWS Launch Wizard on AWS through Service Catalog and ServiceNow. Using Launch Wizard, infrastructure and DevOps teams can configure SAP NetWeaver on HANA and HANA databases in multiple deployment patterns. Here we'll show how to create a single node SAP HANA infrastructure deployment product in Service Catalog that can be offered through ServiceNow enabling SAP admins to easily deploy SAP HANA databases through a managed self-service experience. Many organizations have use cases to provide self-service capabilities to SAP basis admins who need to deploy SAP systems for new and ongoing projects. While allowing self-service, they also need to ensure the new systems are being deployed correctly and according to the enterprise's best practices for usage and compliance. They also need to make sure the deployments are carried out by approved individuals. With Launch Wizard, you can configure an SAP system once to generate a CloudFormation template that meets all your baseline enterprise architecture requirements. This template is then converted into a service catalog product and used for repeatable deployments. To get started, let's navigate to Launch Wizard. AWS Launch Wizard guides you through the sizing, configuration, and deployment of enterprise applications such as SQL Server and SAP following AWS Cloud Application Best Practices. For this demo, let's select SAP. When Launch Wizard is used for the first time, it creates these two IAM roles, which are assigned to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or Amazon EC2, instances that are launched. Initial configuration for an SAP HANA environment requires an SAP admin or a cloud engineer with deep subject matter expertise. That person needs to define the infrastructure, including the tag information, key pair, VPC, availability zones, subnets, security groups, and SAP system settings. Launch Wizard supports deploying SAP NetWeaver on HANA and HANA databases following SAP and AWS best practices. As the SAP admin deploying a HANA database, We'll choose SAP HANA and provide information such as the HANA system ID, instance number, and storage type. Once all the application and deployment model parameters are configured, Launch Wizard deploys the HANA database on an EC2 instance. Let's skip ahead to when the deployment is finished and go to the EC2 management console to see the instance that was launched. You can see that the instance Launch Wizard deployed is running. Let's switch to CloudFormation to see the stack details. This deployment created a series of nested stacks to deploy all the infrastructure components for the SAP HANA instance. You can see all the parameters that were provided through the CloudFormation template in Launch Wizard. You can use these same parameters to create a service catalog product that exposes only the parameters the SAP admins will have to enter and defaults the rest. This ensures that all HANA databases are deployed in the correct VPC and subnet, for example without the user having to worry about those selections. To do this, first create a new CloudFormation stack. Next, specify the template to use. The template we'll specify here simplifies the initial template deployed by Launch Wizard and uses it to create an AWS Service Catalog product. This template can be found in the solution documentation. Provide the name of the template that Launch Wizard deployed. Let's skip ahead to after this template has been executed and a service catalog product has been created. The new product appears in this service catalog portfolio, where end users with the appropriate permissions can use it to deploy infrastructure for a single node SAP HANA database based on the original Launch Wizard template. If you want to use ServiceNow as the means to deploy SAP systems, you can make your service catalog products available by implementing the AWS Service Management Connector for ServiceNow. This solution simplifies AWS product request actions for ServiceNow users and provides ServiceNow governance and oversight over AWS products. ServiceNow users can then directly request and provision infrastructure for an SAP HANA database from Service Catalog. Here is the simplified form that end users can use to request SAP HANA, which obscures all but a few input fields. If you have a pattern where different HANA systems need to be deployed, for example, for production and for development use, you can repeat this process to define additional SAP HANA products. You can also expose the needed parameters based on who is authorized. 
ServiceNow gives administrators the ability to pre-approve or manually approve requests and to see who provisioned the product. The new infrastructure is now deploying. Let's go to the EC2 Management Console to take a look. You can see the new instance that the ServiceNow user provisioned from the Service Catalog product. This new instance is identical to the one we deployed earlier from LaunchWizard, as it's based on the same template and parameters. Next, let's review some administrator functionality provided through Service Catalog integration with ServiceNow. Admins can review and manage all the instances that your organization has provisioned from ServiceNow. You can drill down into a specific instance to see its related items. You can even view and interact with dependency visualizations that show how all resources for an EC2 service are related. You've just seen how to enable SAP admins to deploy SAP applications supported by AWS Launch Wizard on AWS through Service Catalog and ServiceNow. Using the process shown in this video, you can also create products based on application requirements for deploying SAP HANA in multi-node and cross-AZ high availability configurations and SAP NetWeaver on HANA systems in single instance, multi-instance, and cross-AZ high availability configurations. You can learn more about this topic, including how to set up the AWS Service Management Connector for ServiceNow in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.